Good evening. I would like to welcome everyone to tonight's special opportunity overview webinar with the Highway to Freedom. My name is Shane Gore. I'm going to be one of your hosts tonight. And to start off, I would like to say the information you hear tonight is truly going to be some life changing information. Um, six months from now, up to a year from now, a lot of you guys will remember this as one of those nights that changed your life. With that being said and done, as we go through this material, I'm sure that you're gonna have some questions and concerns, and you, we wanna encourage everyone to grab a pen and a paper so that when you have those questions, you can write them down. We're also gonna have some questions for you that's gonna determine whether you're gonna be a good fit for the opportunity that we have here. So I wanna give everyone about a minute or two to grab a pen and a paper, and we'll get started. Okay, so by now, everyone should have been able to grab that pen and a paper. Um, to get started, I just wanna give you guys an overview of what this Highway to Freedom is all about and how we came up with this name called the Highway to Freedom. And in order to do that, I wanna take you back to give you a little history about me. Um, you know, My name, again, is Shane Gore. I was born in Brooklyn, New York in the sweet year of 1981 and at that point in time uh, my mother was she was a young mother a single mother and uh, she felt it was best for me to she moved me to South Carolina to be raised by my aunt and uncle <clears throat> and at that point in time as a young man I wasn't really thrilled about leaving my mom leaving the city and going to the good old south but uh after it was all said and done, I must say it was definitely a positive move for me. My aunt and uncle were definitely uh, role models for me in my life. Uh, they were successful uh, uh, teacher. My aunt was a teacher at the high school. My uncle, he started off as a band director at one of the high schools, then he moved on to become a principal of one of the high schools. So I went through the school system with their tutelage, with their backing. And um, not only were they good at that, you know, that nine to five or that, those jobs that they had, but they were also entrepreneurs. My uncle was a photographer. He had his own photography business. And my aunt was right there by his side helping him out along the way. They also had somewhat of like a catering business for weddings they would do. And they would organize these weddings and, you know, take the pictures of these weddings. So not only from the job standpoint were they great, role models for me, but even as entrepreneurs. Uh, 
with the activities that they were in. They also kept me busy in different activities. Like I learned how to play the piano. At a young age, I played the piano in the church. Um, was involved in the sports, Boy Scouts, a lot of different activities that I was involved in with the South, which opened me up to different avenues of life that I could take and kind of strengthened me along my path and growing up as a young man. <clears throat> and, you know, I remember like a lot of my friends in school when they, after school, they would get jobs to make money at the McDonald's or the grocery store and I could sit down in the church for two, three hours and make $400 a week. So it was a great, it was a great opportunity for me. It was a great upbringing that I had in the South. I even got a chance to travel all over the United States. Um, I haven't been to all 50 of the states, but I can definitely say I've been to probably at least 20 to 30 of the states traveling along this journey. So with all that being said and done with that great upbringing, the day after I graduated, I moved back to Brooklyn to live with my mother. Um, at this point in time, you know, I was ready to be my own man. I said I wanted to get my own piece of this American pie, uh, that lifestyle that I had in the South. I wanted to have my opportunity to get it on my own. And I felt what better place than New York City to do it, to do it in or do it at or whatever you want to call it. So I moved back to New York, and to give this part of my story, I want to bring up this chart right here. Some of you may have heard of Robert Kawasaki's cash flow quadrant. So I remember moving back with my mom, and you know, I was young, 18, just graduated. My mind said I was going to chill out a little bit, play the video games, play the keyboard all day. But my mother had a different uh, plan for me, if you want to say. She said, Shane. You're going to have to get up out this couch, get up out this room, and go get a job. You're going to have to help out with some bills. So I remember her uh, helping me or finding my first job at the Foot Locker. And when I talk about this first job I had at the Foot Locker, I have to avert your attention to the left side, the top left side of this cash flow quadrant, and where we talk about the job. And I got that job. I was very excited and said, Wow, I'm going to be able to replace that lifestyle that I had in the South. I had cars to drive, I was traveling, I was making money. And I got that job, I you know, Foot Locker, I, you know, I considered myself working hard. I wasn't doing exactly what I thought I was gonna be doing. I thought I was gonna be on the floor selling sneakers. Instead, they gave me a mop and a broom. And whenever the store wasn't busy, I was sweeping. Whenever it was busy, I was in the back stocking, stocking the sneakers on the racks. So I got the end of that first week or first two weeks when I got my check, they got a check for $90. I said, whoa, this $90 is not going to cut it. This $90 is really not going to replace that lifestyle that I had that I envisioned myself having that I was provided in the South. So needless to say, I stayed at that job for about two weeks. I moved on. I found another job at Starbucks. Uh, it was a fun job. You know, I enjoyed being a barista, uh, working the coffee and, you know, calling out the drinks. And I had a nice crew that I was working with. But at the end of two weeks, I still got another check for about $135. I said, whoa, again. And I said, this $135 is not going to replace that lifestyle of traveling and just enjoying life and having the finer things of life. And so I stayed at that job for about two weeks. And I got what I considered to be a pretty good job. I was working at the Double Tree Guest Suites in Times Square. Um, I was a room server. And Times Square, as a lot of you might know, is a tourist attraction. So I was taking the food to a lot of these tourists, getting nice tips. And I remember having $1,000 in my pocket at the end of a week of work. And I was really excited about that. It's just the thing was, the job was very demanding, a lot of hours, a lot of work involved. I remember going home being tired as a 19, 20 year old. And a lot of the folks that I was working with, they were career minded, they were a lot older than me. And I started getting to the point where I wasn't appreciating the job as much as I should have been appreciating it. I was 
going to work late. I remember my supervisor coming to me one day and saying, Shane, you are an awesome worker when you show up. Because it had got to the point where if I would get up late, I wouldn't even show up because I didn't want to hear my supervisor's mouth. So needless to say, after about two months at that job, my supervisor let me go. And it might have been a blessing in disguise because the next job I found kind of took me down to the next quadrant of this cash flow quadrant by Robert Kawasaki. It says, you own a job, time equal money, no leverage. So self-employed basically is the type of opportunity that I found for myself next through a perfume and cologne company. Now, this wasn't an average perfume and cologne company. With this company, they provided a the fragrances, and it was those type of fragrances that said, well, if you like CK1, you might like this. If you like Polo Sport, you might like this. So these were renditions of the original fragrances, but this company gave us the opportunity to be our own boss because they gave us those fragrances on consignment, they sent us off for our way, and it was up to us to sell that fragrance the best way we knew how. If you sold the fragrance, you made money. If you didn't sell the fragrance, you made nothing. And for a lot of people, and even if I told my mom about that opportunity, said, are you crazy? You better go back out there and get you a regular job. But for me, it was exciting because I realized finally that with this type of opportunity, what I put in, I would directly get back out and I succeeded. I did very well with the company. I mean, I worked very hard from the idea of knowing that what I put in, I could get back out. And um, I sold perfume and cologne all over New York, from the Bronx to Queens to Brooklyn, the barbershops, beauty salons, restaurants, airports, bus stations, on the subway, anywhere I saw people, I sold that fragrance. I did that for about four or five years, even started my own thing where I would go to 28th Street and buy wholesale fragrances and clothes and watches from the wholesale area and go back out into the neighborhoods and sell it. Then I got to a point where I said, you know, I was growing out of that type of opportunity and uh, not by luck, I would say, but I found myself selling life insurance, which has kept me in that same bracket as self-employed, um, you know, in selling life insurance, it was also commission-based. So if I sold the policies, I made money. If I didn't sell the policies, I didn't make money. And I did very well at that as well. I got a chance to travel all over the world because of my accomplishments and received all type of accolades and awards and really uh, and made some good money doing that as well. But what I found with the self-employed bracket or selling life insurance is that the time that I had to put in to make the money was was not equivalent to the quality of life that I was looking for. Remember, when I was in the South making $400 a week, all I had to do was sit down for about two hours at the piano in church and I could make that $400. But the situation I was in selling the life insurance and even when I was selling perfume cologne, I was working 10 and 12 hour days. So I realized that it still had to be more out there. And as I got older, I met different people and um, you know, read different books. And I realized there's a lot of people out there who had that same outlook on life that I did. That yeah, we wanted to make the money, but we also wanted the time freedom to go along with it. And so, um, as I got older, like I said, I met different folks that I became good friends with, business partners with, worked with through life insurance and different other ventures in my life. And we started realizing there are a lot of us out here who have that same type of desire. We might not have the same exact story that I have, but we definitely have the same destination, the same area we're looking to reach in our, for ourselves in life. And I realized that people are connected, if we talk about from the literal standpoint, through streets and avenues and boulevards and dirt roads, you know, depending on where you're from. But we all seem to be connected through these thoroughways. And this is why we came up with this 
the name of our opportunity, which is called the highway. Like I said, we're connected through the highways and the byways, but this is truly the highway to freedom. Okay, so what I want to do now, I want to give you guys, I gave you a great uh, depiction of what we, how we came up with this, uh, this name, Highway to Freedom. Now I want to give you guys our mission statement. One second here. Oh, right here. Okay. Here on the Highway to Freedom, we mobilize people and resources to drive, motivate, and create an organization of champions battling the war on poverty together. We do not promote the love of money, but the understanding of money to enable our members to exit the rat race and stop accepting poverty as a normal way of life. We encourage our members to think for themselves, developing and exploring how to have money work for them so they can stop being a slave to money, living from paycheck to paycheck. We have read and understand the book, 12 Commandments of Luck. Daily, we are learning, applying, and teaching the three basic wealth principles to others as we grow. Understanding how money works for the wealthy, which only 5% of the world's population has learned, and have the discipline to implement these principles into their lives, leaving 95% of the undisciplined living from paycheck to paycheck. Our mission as a team is to address and cure the stinking thinking taught in our school systems to get a job and work for someone your entire life for a paycheck that you could easily create for yourself. As a team, we challenge ourselves through self-development and motivation to learn the principles of wealth and not only apply them to our lives, but to teach people in our circle to do the same, striving to be a better you every day to create time to enjoy this thing called life and not working until we die. Embracing the work hard but play even harder philosophy, which will enable us to take our eyes off of ourselves to help others succeed as well through self-development and motivation. One team, one dream financial freedom. If you are a champion who is willing to learn, work, and share, we want to work with you and help you navigate this highway to freedom straight to the top. Okay, so that's our mission statement. And I want to go back to our cash flow quadrant here. And that's pretty much what we're all about here on the highway to freedom. Now, as of today, um, the highway to freedom is consisted of two powerful opportunities that have merged together. One is an affiliate company that we partnered with called National Wealth Center. And you guys might have heard me mention that as I got older, I started meeting other people that were like-minded. One of the ways I met these people were through this affiliate company called National Wealth Center. National Wealth Center is awesome because it's 100% commissions passed directly from member to member. And this National Wealth Center affiliate company allowed us to transition over to what Robert Kawasaki says is the side that you want to be earning your income from. Not necessarily the left side as an employee and a self-employed, but as a business owner and an investor. So National Wealth Center allows us to become business owners. Then we also, Part, we are taking advantage of what we call the Forex markets. So this is what we're going to talk about tonight. National Wealth Center as our affiliate company and the $5.3 trillion daily turnover Forex markets that we have available for us right here on the Highway to Freedom. So I'm going to cover this Forex section for us tonight. Now, some of you may have heard of Forex Others of you may have heard of the terminology called the foreign exchange. I uh, have pre prepared a little video for you on that as well in regards to what is Forex. If you have ever traveled to a foreign country, you may have needed to exchange your money. If so, you have already participated in Forex trading. Forex is the short form of foreign exchange. Well, Forex is a bit more than that. For example, companies buy goods from other countries. In order to buy them, they need to obtain the local currency first, just like us when going on holiday. The difference is they will exchange huge amounts. When these companies exchange these huge amounts, they will actually move the price because the demand for the currency that they need increases. When the demand increases, the price increases. With all this exchanging going on around the world, the exchange rates constantly move. This is how it works. When currencies are exchanged, they have a certain price, the exchange rate. 
As in any market, the price of a currency is determined by the law of supply and demand. If there are many people or companies that want to change euros into dollars, the price of the dollar will rise against the euro, and so the exchange rate will change. Let's use an everyday example to explain how you can actually profit from this. Say you live in Europe and went on holiday to the United States. Let's say that you changed your 500 euros into US dollars at the rate of 1.4 dollars for every euro. You got 700 US dollars, but you do not spend any money at all. So you still have 700 dollars after you come back. After the exchange rate moved from 1.4 to 1.3, instead of getting just 500 euros back, you actually get 538 and a half euros. You have gained 38 and a half euros simply from holding your money in dollars while the exchange rate changed. This is essentially how we trade in the forex market. We buy a certain amount of a currency, hold on to it whilst the exchange rate moves, then change it back, making money along the way. How to decide when the right time to buy and sell is exactly what we teach you throughout the rest of our learning lessons. As you can imagine, traveling a lot and saving a bit of money on your holiday budget and then exchanging it, it's not really a practical approach to trading currencies. Fortunately, there is an easier way to do this. You can trade currency through online exchange offices called brokers. What this means is that you can exchange currencies online throughout the day and take advantage of the constantly fluctuating exchange rates. Just as in the example of when you went on holiday, you can buy different currencies and make a profit as the exchange rates change. This is trading the forex market. Trading forex online with a broker has many benefits. You can trade forex from your home or anywhere that you have an internet connection. The forex market never sleeps. It is open 24 hours a day, five days a week, and so can suit your daily routine. You do not need a huge budget to get started. As little as $150 is enough to begin trading and building your account over time. Of course, it will require some learning until you get there, but this is exactly what Trademo is here for. To help you learn how to trade in a way that can suit your individual lifestyle, and to help you navigate your way through the forex market. Okay, so that's a, a brief video on what is forex, and I also have this depiction to give you guys an example of what forex is as well. So as we take a look at this first section here, when we compare the forex to the other major markets of the world, the New York Stock Exchange has a daily turnover of fifty billion dollars. Uh, the UK market, the GDP, has a daily turnover of $2.2 trillion. And as we can see how the Forex stands up to these markets, a daily turnover of $5.3 trillion. So you can see there's a the opportunity to make a lot of money out of so much of it in the Forex. Um, it's also a 24-hour market. So this afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the foreign exchange market opened. And it will stay, that money works in the Forex markets 24 hours a day until Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern. So um, the opportunity to trade is definitely there compared to, let's say, the stock market, which opens at, I think, like 8 o'clock in the morning and closes at 4 o'clock every day and then reopens. Foreign exchange, it's 24 hours. Uh, it's, high, it's a highly leveraged market. So as the guy said, you can start with just something as small as $150 and build your account over time. Whereas in a lot like the stock market, generally in order to see some sizable returns or anything that's worth talking about, you need to have a substantial amount of money to even get started. But because of the leverage that you're afforded in the Forex market, you could start with something as small as $100, $150, $200. Okay? It's a highly volatile market. What they mean by that, it's a ever moving market. It's constant movement so you have folks that can make a lot of money really quickly because of the high volatility of the market um there are 37 major pairs and one of the things i like a lot about the foreign exchange markets as we can see at the bottom here it says the ability to go long and short so um generally in the stock market once you invest in a company as that company increases 
and worth, you're making money. So if those companies that you invest in, they start decreasing in value, you start losing money. But as long as you're making the right decisions in the Forex market, whether the currency value is going up or whether the currency's value is going down, you have the ability to make money both directions, either direction, up or down, the market goes. And gotta say my favorite and one of the things that attracted me to the Forex markets the most is the fact that you can trade foreign exchange anywhere you have an internet connection. So whether you're home, whether you're at work, whether you're on vacation, you still have the opportunity to trade the foreign exchange. And this is a personal testament for me because even as we speak right now, I'm in Bogota, Colombia. Now I'm from New York, my home base is New York, but I'm in Bogota, Colombia for the last, I would say almost two and a half months I've been out here and still have the ability to make money through the foreign exchange markets, okay? So um, we, we've been trading the Forex when we started off, uh, we started with the affiliate company, I would say about two and a half years ago, and we were taking advantage of this affiliate company. And we started learning, we found out about the foreign exchange markets. And because of a lot of the reasons that I just went over, the benefits of Forex is why we took advantage of it. And at first, it was an intimate group of us. I would say maybe nine or 10 of us who traded together, we conversated together, uh, we learned together, we took our falls together, truly as they talked about one team, one dream. And we, we went, we, 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 we went down that process of learning how to trade. And there came to a point in time where we started seeing consistent returns on our efforts, consistent returns on the markets. And I'm gonna be going over some of the testimonials a little bit later on. But uh, once we got to that point, there, if you were listening to our mission statement, we truly live by that, that statement that if I can help enough people get what they want, then I can have anything in the world that I want. So we said, you know, yes, this group of us, this nine or 10 of us is great that we're starting to see returns and we're starting to see where we want to be with our mission as a highway to freedom, financially free and the ability to have that time freedom. But the question came, how can we help others take advantage of this market as well? How can we positively impact the lives of those that are close to us, our family and our friends? And, you know, we started off with an education platform and it was great, it was nice. The thing about it is we find that a lot of folks, they're busy, they're working, they have their families and it does take a lot for you to start to see consistent returns in the Forex markets. It takes a lot out of you to master this foreign exchange market. It takes a lot of discipline that some people are not able to master when it comes to dealing with money. It takes a lot of education that some people don't have, let's say the time or whatever the case might be. I don't really like to put out excuses for people, but we did open that education platform and we still felt that we weren't able to have the direct impact that we were looking to have on the ones that were closest to us and the ones in our community. So what we decided to do starting the third week of this year, 2017, we opened up what we call a signals channel. Now, what a signals channel is, it allows us to play the game that a lot of us played as children called follow the leader. Um, our profitable traders, we put out signals in a chat group called Telegram. A lot of you may be familiar with the group, uh, this chat group is called WhatsApp. So Telegram is very similar to that. So our profitable traders, we put out these signals, letting our team know what exactly we are doing in the Forex market when we're doing it. So what I mean by that, when we're, let's say, buying the euro Versus the USD, we put out a signal that says we are buying the EUR USD at this price point right here. So all the folks that's in the Highway to Freedom now with us that are following our signal, that are taking advantage of the Forex markets with us, all they have to do is know how to play follow the leader and get in the trades that we put in the group. 
Um, there's an application that you can download on your phone. It's called MetaTrader 4. With that MetaTrader 4 app, it allows them to trade the foreign exchange market right off of their smartphone. Again, no matter whether they are at work, on vacation, or simply walking down the street, once they get the signal from our traders on the highway to freedom, they simply put in the trade and go back to doing whatever they were doing. When it's time to take profits on those same signals, there's another signal that we put in our app, our Telegram app, that says take the profits and how much profits we are taking. So again, whether they're at work, on vacation, or simply walking down the street, once they get that signal, they take those profits, and like the young man said on the video, they build their investment account a little bit by little bit over time. So a lot of the folks that we have here today, some really don't know much about how to trade, but they know that they're making money and they're seeing returns on their investments. Now, yes, we do still have that educational platform that we have set up. We have YouTube videos that we've made and some that we've used in order to be profitable over time that we provide for everyone that rocks with us here on the highway to freedom. But the most powerful thing that we ever did that's allowed us to impact those around us, um, the closest to us and friends and family, but the most powerful thing we ever did was open that signals channel up to the public starting this year. And we've um, you know, done some amazing things. Now, as I talk about this, I realize that documentation always beats the conversation. And we do keep records of everything that we do here on the highway to freedom as far as the forex market is concerned and the trades that we're taking and different things of that nature. Everything that we do is transparent. And our goal here on the highway to freedom is an effort to earn 5% per day, 25% per week, and we look to double our accounts on a monthly basis. And in order for us to do that, we need to earn an average about 250 pips per week. So this Excel sheet is a documentation of everything that we've done since we opened the Signals channel up to the public. And as you can see, the third week of the year, uh, it was 250 pips. As we go down, if you just follow this yellow line right here, this is our weekly closeout. Um, 648, 479, 306, 446, 292, 445. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. On and on and on. And we've been keeping record um, for 27 weeks now. The third week, from the third week of this year, has been 27 weeks ago, 29 weeks with the 29th week of 2017, but we've opened this platform out to the public from the third week. So that gives us 27 weeks that we've been providing signals. And I'm proud to say within 27 weeks, we've literally put out 10,291 pips to the public. Now I know a lot of you who probably don't know much about Forex or what, you know, like what is a pip? You can think about it as units, but think about it now, if you had a standard account with us, and that's the goal for all of our members, is to get their accounts to where they have a standard account. With a standard account, you're earning about $10 per pip. So if you would have started taking signals with us from the beginning, that means you would have earned about $100,000, $100,291 from the start of this year at the halfway point. And that is something that we're very, very, very proud of as we take this journey down the highway to freedom using the Forex market as our investment tool, okay? Um, I do have some testimonials that we've been able to create over time here on the highway to freedom. I just kind of want to read down those really quickly. Uh, one of our leaders here on the highway to freedom that was part of that growing process and learning process with us named Mr. Lawrence. This is our Telegram group that you guys are looking at. It's a, it's a, a picture of it, how we conversate within the group and give our testimonials and we root each other on and encourage each other as we go. At this point in, in his career, at that point, now it's been a little bit later now, this was last year actually, but this is just an example of the power of the Forex and what we're actually doing here. And Lawrence says, 
I just closed off 105 pips on the EUR AUD, securing another $742 in the bank. In 13 weeks, I moved my account from $200 to $7,235. And as you can see, the team was rooting them on. Um, if I scroll down a little bit more, okay, uh, this young man, he said, I made $148 today on gold. Look for her pullback to be happening. I believe she's going to be dropping all week. And you can see the excitement on his face. I mean, I know some people that don't make $148 at their job. So imagine just to be touching some buttons on your phone and you make $148. Had to be exciting for him. I scroll down a little bit more. This young lady, Miss Dottie Carol Robinson, Forex has me debating on quitting my job and becoming a full-time trader. Through investing, I turned a $120 account into a $3,200 account in less than two weeks. My mentor is willing to help additional people. Now, this came right out of our Facebook group. Um, some of you may be familiar with our Facebook group. It's called Highway to Freedom FX. If you search us on Facebook, you'll find us, and you can see this testimony and many, many other testimonials from those who've been following our signals on um, with our channel, with our, with our signals channel. And this is her testimony, and she kind of showed you some of the trades that she was in. The USD, Japanese yen, the Great British Pound, Japanese yen, and some of her profits that she was taking within those two weeks that she had those awesome returns. Um, another brother, a uh, young uh, leader here on the Highway to Freedom, Mr. Earl Johnson, he says, I'm trying to lay down for a minute, but I'm scared I'm going to miss an opportunity. And this, he's showing some of his profits. If I come down, his total profit between all those trades was $596. And that was in one week worth of trading. I remember this because that was Earl's first week being introduced to our opportunity and following our trades. And he made $596 his first week. Again, I know some that don't make that in two weeks at their job. So to think that Earl could literally turn his cell phone into an ATM machine was awesome, okay? So that's my segment on the Forex, the foreign exchange markets and how we've been able to use it to empower ourselves and the ones that we love the most and the ones that uh, we introduced to this opportunity. You guys did hear me mention about, we married this opportunity with an affiliate company called National Wealth Center. And I had the privilege to uh, introduce to you the young man who's gonna talk to you about our affiliate company, uh, Mr. Lawrence Martin. You just heard me give his testimonial. Um, this is a, he really embodies that attitude that if I can help enough people get what they want, then I can have anything in the world that I want. That he really and truly embodies that. Um, he's a fun-loving guy, he's a family man, and he, he's really studied his craft to the T. Now, that testimony I gave, his account was at about $7,000. The last I talked with him was about two weeks ago in regard to how much money he had in his account. It was over $50,000. And he started that from $200. So this guy truly is a man who has 100% of the facts and has done his due diligence to get to the point of where he is now. And I'm very proud to be able to announce Mr. Lawrence Martin. Um, Lawrence, uh, are you? let me see. I have to unmute Lawrence. Are you are you there, Lawrence? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I hear you, Clay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. The mic is yours. Okay, great. Can I, can I also get the share? You got it. Okay, great. So, good night, good night, good night, everyone. Uh, yes, as Shane said, and thank you so much for that introduction, Shane. And, you know, uh, Shane is my main mentor. I mean, we've been friends and business partners coming on almost three years now. And I mean, through his leadership, it has really changed my life. And Shane, I always want to thank you for that, my brother. Uh, so as Shane said, we're going to get into the second part of our so making us business owners all right that other part of the cash flow quadrant the top right hand corner 
where we all choosing to be. So one of the things in this is that, uh, you know, when we, we hooked up with Tasha Wealth Center, it opened up something in me that gave me some, um, uh, because of two of my favorite words, residual income. You know, money that you make, work for once and continue making month after month after month. Yeah, so let me just jump right into it. Uh, here on the Highway to Freedom, as Shane alluded earlier, we partnered up with this group, this company called National Wealth Center. Uh, National Wealth Center has been around for almost about 16 years. Since then, they have passed over $250 million from person to person, all right, creating that residual income basis. So how this is going to work? So Shane told you about, pay, uh, about getting the signals, joining the signals channel. Well, in order for you to get the signals on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you are going to pay a total of $109.95 per month. $9.95 of which is National Wealth Center's admin fee. All right, so they take all their $9.95, leave that $100 there. What goes on with that $100? Well, that $100 is paid directly to your sponsor. Uh, it is paid directly, as we keep saying, from person to person. Uh, I know anybody who's been in the affiliate marketing program before with any other company. And I mean, I have been with a lot. I've been doing affiliate marketing for over 30 years. Started off with Amway at the age of 22. And from there, I've been going, I've gone from company to company because I just like this idea. Like if you notice to the top of that uh, chart that Shane was showing with the cash flow quadrant, where Jill Forgetty said, I prefer to work off of 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of mine. Uh, what I love about that, it just embodies what we always say, that the more people we are able to help get what they want out of life, the more I am going to get in my life. And that's something I truly believe in. Uh, so, as we say, that probably is paid directly to your sponsor. Uh, so just look at how this opportunity comes around for you now. All right? So, I am very sure every one of us, we start doing something and it's working for us. We're going to, we're going to tell a friend about it. We are. It's only natural. It's only natural. This is just to show you how this business could be built organically because we are going to do it anyway. We are going to tell a friend or a family member. You know, unless we're living on top of a mountain under a rock, you know, we are going to tell someone who we care about, right? So what we're looking at here, you tell a friend about the program. That friend comes in. That friend pays you that $100 directly a month. So let's think about it. Excuse me. You're paying your sponsor $100 a month. Your friend is paying you $100 a month. What actually happens? Basically, you are getting your signal for free. You are getting your signal for free just by introducing one of one friend that joins, that partners up with you on this highway to freedom. All right. So I know you're saying, okay, Lawrence, I, I have more than one friend. So this is how it's going to work. Right. When you bring in your first four people into, into Highway to Freedom, 
you keep your first and your third persons. Your second and your fourth persons, they are passed up to your sponsor. All right, so I know some people at this point usually get like, uh, wait, 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 wait. So I go out there, I bring my four people in. I have to give two away. Yes, you pass up those two people to your sponsor. But guess what? Think about this. That number one and that number three person that you keep, they are going to pass up their second and fourth person to you. Their second again and fourth person to you. So right here, you're earning an extra $600 of income every month, month after month, right? So think about this, an extra $600. Uh, what about if you take some of that and you put it into your forex account building money on both sides all right as we go further along you see every time everybody who pays you directly are going to pass on their second and their fourth persons to you from now until in from there until infinity Right, every person that pays you directly is going to pass up their second and their fourth person to you. Building that income stream every month, that residual income. Uh, now, I know somebody out there is asking the question. So Lawrence, uh, that's only four people, but I have more than four friends. What happens then? So guess what? All you're going to pass up are the second and the fourth people who you directly bring into the business. Everybody else from your fifth onwards, they are coded directly to you. Right? So they pay you directly. And everyone who they bring on, they're going to pass up their second and their fourth people to you. You know, so as we look in there, we just building that business, building that residual income month after month after month. Just think that you invited four people in here, five people, six people, whatever, and you get up to a team of 50 people. That's paying you $100 every month. We're looking at $5,000 a month. I right, five thousand dollars a month in residual income. All right, you continue taking that. Let's say investing some into you, investing some into your forex. All right, investing some of that money into your forex account every month. Do you have any idea where you can be in one year? All right, so that's basically the setup for the recruiting side of it. But I want to go on a little more. One of the ways that we also make money is to save money. And National Wealth Center has this app called My Deals. Uh, My Deals, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mobile app you put into your smartphone. And just for being a, a member of the, of the National Wealth Center, you are going to be part of this My Deals. So you put your, that app on your phone. What it does is if you type in a zip code where you live or where you are at the time, and they're going to bring up all different type of deals in your area. You see here like uh, gym membership, food, Carvel. Uh, I use this quite a lot, right? And I know over the months I've saved a lot of money doing this. All right. Uh, well, actually, what you're seeing here is in my zip code. So you're seeing my Cambria Dance Theater. I'm over here in Springfield Gardens in Queens. And, you know, in my area, there's a dance theater. I actually have a friend whose daughter is a part of that dance center. All right. Uh, she joined our community. And now I think she's saving, she says, like 25% a month on her daughter's tuition over in that dance center. 
I've used it to do oil change on my car, Jiffy Lube, so many other things. So just keep in mind, another way to make money is to save money, All right? So we're looking at being business owners, All right? What are the benefits of having a home-based business, All right? Well, what most of us are going to be here for, the ability to earn extra income, All right? We're going to stop trading hours for dollars. You know, normally somebody, somebody says, oh, I need some extra money. The first thing they're going to think about is getting a second job, trading those hours for dollars, All right? Being a business owner, doing something like this, getting that residual income, you're not trading hours of dollars anymore, All right? That is going to create that time freedom. You know, just having time to do the things that you want to do. You know, like, you know, uh, when Shane put out uh, for this webinar and he put it out, live without borders. You know, that was something that, that you know, gets to be. Just imagine you owning a business and being able to live without borders, be anywhere in the world. Once you have an internet connection and continue making money, you know, my favorite part about having a home based business is the tax breaks. You know, I know taxes are part of the game, we have to do it, but there's a little difference to how a business owner pays taxes as compared to somebody who's on the other side of the cash flow quadrant. I'm going to just touch a little bit on that. The tax difference between an employee and a business owner. An employee earns, so you go out there, you earn, you pay the taxes on what you earn, and then you spend. Whilst a business owner, he earns, he spends, and then he pays taxes on what is left. Right, so I, I'm just here to encourage you guys to take advantage of this opportunity to move from the left side of that cash flow quadrant into the right side, into being a business owner, into being an investor. That is where our freedom lies. That is where the highway to freedom is going to get us. All right, so that kind of wraps up my part of the deal tonight and i would like to introduce you to another brother who has been rocking this with us from the get-go you know uh this brother is just like everyone else here believes the more people that i help to get what they want out of life the more that they're going to get the more i'm going to get out of my life he truly lives that motto not only not only has Femi helped me here on this platform, the Highway to Freedom, even on a personal level, you know, he's a health guru. And Femi has said things to me from time to time that has tremendously helped me with my health, helped me to change some of my habits. I, he's somebody who I look up to when it comes to looking at things in the financial market. You know, different things that are happening at different times. He's always has his finger on the button, you know, knowing everything that is going on around us. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my friend, my business partner, Mr. Femi Odunusi. Femi, are you there? Absolutely. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, I hear you clearly, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um definitely working with uh shane and lawrence is a, a complete joy um i definitely have a lot of fun working with these gentlemen because they're basically committed to the vision of helping people but more importantly they're accountable for their actions and in this world it's hard to find people like that so it's uh, truly a joy to work with these gentlemen um I'm not gonna take up too much time tonight, folks. Um, obviously, you've heard a lot of great information from both Shane and Lawrence. 
I'm going to just kind of wrap up the show and get into a little aspect of Forex itself. Because whether people know it or not, Forex is a skill. It is not gambling. It is not what most people think it is. So when there is a skill involved, just like anything, when you play sports, when you pay any skill that you acquire, obviously it takes a strategy and it's going to take you time to learn that strategy. But anytime you're learning anything, whether it's a game, especially if you're doing it on a professional level as we're doing it, there's a psychology to it in order to succeed. I'm sure many people have heard the, the saying that, you know, most sports are mental, okay? Um, if you have two athletes that are evenly, you know, athletic, one is probably going to su supersede the other if the other one is actually mentally ready for the challenges that any sport, game, or life can bring you. So I'm actually going to show this video here. And uh, if I could get the share, that would be great. So I'm actually going to show this video and then go over a couple of things and always give my assessment at the end of, you know, what I thought about it and then kind of take it from there. So we're going to start without further ado. Successful trading comes from mastering your mind and your thoughts. Let's talk about the three most common psychological mistakes traders make. And we also have some suggestions for you if you are struggling with any of these. So let's go ahead and get into it. Psychological trading mistake number one, FOMO trading. FOMO is an acronym for fear of missing out. Let me paint the picture for you. The FOMO trader is typically very optimistic about each and every trade because this trade could be the one, right? Something about this trade looks so much better than all the others, so it has to be the one. If I miss this trade, there may not be an opportunity like this one for a while. We can all agree how silly that sounds. Of course there's going to be more opportunity around the corner. But although it sounds silly and obvious, the reality is that this type of thinking affects so many traders, mainly because they don't even realize it's affecting them. And it's a huge problem because it can cause you to do two things. Number one, it can cause you to take every trade you see, even if it's not that good of a trade setup. Number two, and this one is even worse, it can cause you to increase your position size on a particular trade because if this trade does end up being all that it's cracked up to be, why would you only want to make a few hundred or a few thousand bucks on it? Screw that, that's chump change. Let's swing for the fence. But what happens when this trade turns out to be nothing special? And despite how much it seems like there's no way you can lose money on it, it turns into a losing trade. And now you have tons of your capital invested and are sitting on a huge loss that will be almost impossible to come back from. You can see how this can be a huge problem. If you've ever struggled with this, let me hit you with some wisdom from Charlie Munger, who is Warren Buffett's business partner. At a recent Berkshire Hathaway Investor Conference, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger were talking about how they missed Google and Amazon because for some reason they had a blind spot and they didn't see the opportunity. In fact, Charlie Munger specifically said, we will keep missing them, but our secret is that we don't miss them all. So just think about that for a second. If the best and richest investors in the world aren't worried about catching every single investment, then why should you be? You just have to understand that missing trades is a part of the game and it will happen. So if this fear of missing out is something you struggle with, here's our solution for you. Stay out of chat rooms and trade alone for a week or so. And if you follow other traders on social media, stay off of that as well. Basically seclude yourself and trade alone for a bit. The reason I say this is because often in chat rooms or on social media, we see others making money and by nature, this instills a fear of missing out in the future. Now, keep in mind, we aren't saying chat rooms and social media are bad by any means. We actually run a chat room ourselves that is nothing short of incredible, and we highly encourage you to check it out as it's a great tool for your trading. But even we realize that some traders might need to break away and trade alone for a couple weeks if they are experiencing FOMO. Now, during this period where you are trading alone, if you feel like you can't find trades or generate trade ideas without chat rooms or social media, then you likely need to stop what you're doing and become more educated on the strategy that you are trading so you know the process to find trades, when to enter and exit them, etc. Because you need to have an exact plan. Your trading strategy should not rely 
on the trade ideas of other people. Trade ideas of others should be a tool, but not a crutch. Psychological trading mistake number two, revenge trading. These are the types of traders who can blow up their entire trading account and lose everything in just a day or a week. After taking a trading loss, revenge traders will throw everything they know about proper position sizing out the window and will trade like a madman just to make back that loss. Now, this may work once or twice and you'll come out unscathed, but if you keep this up, you'll get crushed bad and it's going to hurt. The market doesn't care about you or your money and you're gonna be the one 100% responsible for it if your revenge trading causes you to lose everything in your trading account. So please just be honest with yourself. And if this is something you struggle with at all, just get a grip on it before it really ends up hurting you. And the solution for this one is actually fairly simple. Here's our advice to anyone who struggles with this. First, if you're having this problem where losses are upsetting you enough to get you to this point of seeking revenge on the market, you're likely trading way too big of positions in the first place. So knock that position size down, trade smaller size, this should allow you to not get so upset about losses and you'll be able to start making decisions based off of logic rather than emotion. With any trading strategy, you're going to have losing trades every now and then, but the key is making sure your winners outweigh your losers. As Drake once said, you win some, you lose some, as long as the outcome is income. And if your position sizing is out of check and you're trading out of anger or revenge, then the outcome will definitely not be income. Now, if you're still having issues with this and you know that your position sizing is in check, then maybe it's your mindset or your expectations of trading that is the problem. You need to make sure you're committing and focusing on the long term. Try to look at the bigger picture and think about how the long term success is much more important than trying to make back that loss right now, this very second. Revenge trading can also be a result of expecting yourself to make money every single day. And anytime you are negative on the day, you will do everything in your power to turn that around and be up money on the day. Well, this is just not a realistic expectation you should have. You should be focused on being positive on the year, quarter, month, or at the very least, week. But being positive every single day is just not reasonable as markets fluctuate each day and you can't control that. Psychological trading mistake number three, gambler's fallacy. Now, this might not necessarily be a psychological mistake, but rather just a very common misunderstanding of some basic probabilities. And then it will cause you to make very poor trading decisions. And in some cases, this one can also compound and cause very big losses. Now, this actually spans far past just the trading world. And as you can probably guess by the name, it's most commonly associated with gamblers. We certainly don't want to treat our trading as gambling. So let me show you how to avoid this common mistake that so many traders make. A quick Google search will show you the definition of gambler's fallacy. But let me put this in layman's terms that anyone can understand. We all know that a coin flip is a 50-50 bet. So if you flip a coin 10 times, the expected outcome would be five heads and five tails. But although it's expected that the same number of heads and tails will show up, we know that the actual number can deviate in either direction. But let me ask you a question. Let's say we plan on flipping a coin 10 times and the first five coin flips all land on heads. What is the sixth coin flip more likely to land on, heads or tails? If you said tails, then you, my friend, have fallen victim to gambler's fallacy. Let me explain. The expected outcome of 10 coin flips is, of course, five heads and five tails. We just covered that. But rolling five heads in a row does not change the probability of the next coin flip. The probability of the next coin flip is completely independent from the past results. So what is the sixth coin flip likely to land on after five heads in a row? The answer is that one is not more likely than the other. It's still a 50-50 bet. Gambler's fallacy refers to the thinking that a series of events will somehow affect the outcome of the next event as if there was some sort of balancing force at work. And in this example, the coin somehow knew that it just landed on five heads in a row, so now it should land on tails. And this gambler's fallacy actually applies to many other parts of life as well. A few examples are someone who flies a lot, thinking they are somehow working their way towards a crash, even though each fly is independent of the last. People at the casino who see that the roulette wheel just landed on red 10 times in a row, so now they start putting their money on black. 
even though the previous spins have no bearing on what the next spin will be. And finally, it also applies to trading, and so many traders fall into the clutches of the fallacy. Five losing trades in a row, this does not be able to you feel like the losing streak has to end soon. Many traders tend to increase their position size after a losing streak because they feel their luck has to turn around soon. But the reality is, you're just increasing your risk on a trade that has the same probability of success of all the ones you just lost money on. The market does not know or care if your last few trades were losers or winners. Now, the solution to this one is easy. It's just as simple as understanding it, as you do now, and then exercising awareness. Now that you understand what gambler's fallacy is, you should be aware of it and just make sure you aren't affected by this type of thinking. Try and treat each trade independently from any past trades you've made. If you have a streak of losers, that does not mean the next trade will be a winner. And on the flip side, if you have a streak of winners, that doesn't mean the next trade is more likely to be a loser. Trading is a numbers game, and you have to eliminate these psychological mistakes and focus on trading the numbers. Once you can do that, you'll take your trading to the next level. The stock market is not a place for weak, emotional people. Make sure your own worst enemy doesn't live between your ears. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button below. And also be sure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that one right there. It kind of went over three aspects of trading. So, as usual, I'm actually going to go over some of the things that I got from the video, go over a couple of points, and then do a recap and actually wrap up tonight's uh, webinar. So basically, when you're trading Forex or any type of financial instrument, you're acquiring a skill. That skill is going to depend on a strategy. That strategy is going to depend on disciplined decision making. And that discipline is going to depend on emotion. And that emotion then comes into the psychology of it. Or in this case, we're talking about the psychology of Forex trading. So as you know, the last couple of weeks, the market, you know, technically has been going, showing that it should be going in one direction, but fundamentally it's going in another direction. So what happens when basically your strategy, right, kind of goes away from what you were thinking? As the video stated, you have to be patient in certain situations. Um, not like the market is not going to turn around in your favor or you analyze anything wrong. So in the video, he went over three things. FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out, is what the acronym stands for. He went over revenge trading, meaning that you get a loss and then all of a sudden you want to go back into the market immediately without analyzing why the loss came. Did you over leverage? Did you trade at too high of a pip count and things of this nature for those who've obviously been on the highway to freedom and know what that is. So the whole concept is, is before you go seeking revenge, you should analyze what exactly went wrong so you can now learn from that mistake. So mistakes are not bad in trading and definitely not in life, even though everyone would like to avoid them. But if you look at the mistake as a learning tool, it can be a very, very powerful thing. And the last one is the gamba fallacy. And that's that, you know, if I make five good Forex trades in a row, it doesn't mean the sixth one is going to be on point as well. So that's why the market has ups and downs and so does life. Now, obviously, if you're prepared and you have more winners and then losers, you're not or you shouldn't be too emotionally tied to the one loss if you're winning seven out of 10 trades. And with our success rate on the highway to freedom and us crossing over 10,000 pips, when most groups who do this as a signal channel have not even come close to getting 10,000 pips for the year of 2017 yet, and we've already hit that and climbing. So that means obviously we have more winners than losers here on the highway to freedom. So this is not a gambling situation. It's because you know, people like Shane and Lawrence and, and, and a lot of others on the Highway to Freedom have acquired the skill. 
So we provide that skill and put it in an open forum and voila, we have the highway to freedom. But the gambit's fallacy is, is that, okay, everything is just gonna go up, 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 up and away, or every call that I made in Forex is just gonna go my way and nothing is gonna go against, you know, the analysis of, you know, what I've, you know, slated for a particular pair. That's just not how it goes. As the video stated, you can get five winners in a row. The sixth winner doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be six in a row. It could also be a downturn. But guess what? If you got five in a row already in your favor, if the sixth one is not in your favor, that's great. You still, it's, you know, five to one. That's a great percentage, especially in a market where no one knows the future. Which leads me to one of my favorite quotes is, everyone must choose between one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. So just keep that in mind. So as you know, in the Highway to Freedom, um, one of our biggest goals is always, you know, to increase our lot size in an organic way, go from 10 cents to a dollar to eventually trading at $10 a pip. Um, that basically is tracking our success as our accounts are growing. We actually go ahead and do that um, on the P394X. And I'll basically open it up here and give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like. But basically, the P394X basically is the platform from which we use to actually use the scientific algorithm of how to grow an account so once so someone can start off with as little as two hundred dollars we're only looking to get five percent per day and as shade alluded to this is a 5.3 trillion dollar opportunity so getting pulling five percent a day is pr probably like chump change if the person started it with two hundred dollars five percent of two hundred dollars is ten dollars the next day we're going to come back take that ten dollars add it to the 210 now it becomes 220 and then so on and so on. So this is actually the power of compound interest. And this should be the reason why no one should actually be following these three mistakes. Not only because we call the signals for you, but even if someone is trading on their own, which we do encourage with a particular strategy, which we have on our Highway to Freedom YouTube channel, if you want to learn how to trade on your own, you shouldn't really be falling into these traps because the reason why we made this chart is to know how to manage your emotion. We're only looking to get 5% a day. So a lot of times people fall into these particular issues because they're either trading too much, they're over leveraging, they're, they get a little too high, on getting a bunch of winners in a row and they just think they're always going to pick winners and the very next trade is going to be a winner as well or they get a loss and try to double up on the loss so if they lost 10 cents a pip they'll try to come back and and you know win at 20 cents a pip and without using any the proper analysis and that without waiting for a patience of the proper opportunity to get back into the market so all of these things should actually be stopped by this chart right here. Because if I get my 5% for the day and I started my account with $200, I'm gone. I got my $10. So basically, it's similar to school. I finished my homework. The, tomorrow's another day. I start the market with $220. i am looking to get 5%. That's $10.50. I'm gone for the day. I'm back again. So all I'm doing is the power of small leads to the power of big. And this is what is called compound interest. So when you have something and you're doing it in small increments, it seems like it's not growing. But trust me, this $200 account, and this is basically represents the days right here, this $200 account actually doubles in a very short period of time, 15 days. Then it doubles again and a little bit over double in the next 30 days. Then it doubles again right here. So 43 days, I can turn $200 into $1,600. Where can you do that at?
If you know a place, please let me know. Email me, text me, do whatever. Then it goes out here now and it doubles again just at the 58 day mark and then it goes from there. These numbers get crazy as you go along. But remember, I originally started with $200 and I'm not doing anything crazy, but I'm just adding up, adding up, adding up, adding up, adding up. And then I'm putting it back onto the principal and I'm going back out into the market and I'm just getting my little baby 5% a day. That's all I'm doing. And in a hundred days, you see, I would have taken a $200 account and voila, look at the amount that I'm talking about. This is the power of compound interest. And this chart should help you once again, stay away from these type of mistakes right here, especially in Forex. So with that being said, like I said, my favorite quote, everyone must choose between one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna wrap up tonight's uh, session. If you have that pen and paper, now is a good time to take it out. I end every session with these three questions. These three questions are basically the questions that will be asked of you by whoever invited you to the line if you're new to the Highway to Freedom. So I'll give you a second to actually copy them down. The first question is, does your money wake up before you? Does your money wake up before you? The second is, does your money work for you when you're not? So if I want to take off tomorrow and, say, and call it a lazy Monday, or I just don't feel like going into the office, are you going to make the same amount of money sitting at home as if you went to the office? And then the third question is, many people work overtime, but does your money work overtime for you? For a lot of people in the U.S., that question is no. And if they did, how many times per week? So if your answers to any one, not one, not two, not three, any one of these questions is no, I would highly recommend that you get back with the person that actually invited you to tonight's webinar. Um, that's my time. I definitely want to thank you for your time, for taking it out and spending it with us. I know everyone's time is valuable. We definitely appreciate it on the highway to freedom um, by answering these questions honestly and getting back with the person that actually invited you on the line, which they should be getting back to you anyway, regardless, and seeing if it's a fit because the highway to freedom has a lot of lanes, but it's not for everyone to drive. I'll repeat, the highway to freedom has a lot of lanes, but it's not for everyone to drive. With that being said, I want to thank you once again for your time. I'm going to turn it back over to Shane, and I'm going to say definitely. I'm on the highway to freedom, and I'm definitely looking for company. Back over to you, Shane. Thank you. Awesome, Femi. Um, Femi, definitely, that was very, that was very nice. He's that definitely that man that every time I hear him talk, I learn something new. So I really appreciate you bringing that information to us. And as well as to you, Lawrence, for explaining our affiliate company in such an eloquent way. So, guys, um, usually at this point in time in our presentation, we run across about, say, one of three type of people. One is that person that says, uh, A, is that, that person that says, yes, I see this. I love what I see. I can definitely see myself driving down the highway to freedom. Shane, shut it up so I can talk with who the person who invited me on and get started if they deem me to be a good fit. B is the person that says, yes, I'm excited and I want to get going on the highway to freedom, but I still have a couple of questions that we did say we're going to give you guys the opportunity to have your questions answered. Um, be prepared to receive that phone call from the person who invited you on so that you can do just that. Then there's that C person that says, I see what you guys are talking about, but this highway to freedom, I don't think it's for me. And if you're that C person, I'm just going to have to say we're going to see you later. If you're the A or B person, like I said, expect that phone call from the person who invited you on to our opportunity webinar tonight. It was definitely a pleasure bringing you guys the information. It's a pleasure spending this time with you on this Sunday night. I wish you all a great night, and I look forward to seeing you at the top. Good night.